Have you ever wondered why stair lifts are considered the heroes of mobility, or even what a stair lift is? Well, Stair Lifts of Michigan is a company that is helping people transform their lives by providing physical elevation, independence, and confidence for different age groups. If you or someone you know could use a little extra help getting around your home, we've got the show for you today. We have our guest here today, Ralph Russell, who's going to talk to us. Um, he is from Heroes of Mobility, um, that's what I'm calling you, the <laughs> owner of Stair Lifts of Michigan, and he's joining us in the studio to tell us everything we need to know. Welcome to Celebrate Michigan, the show produced on the campus of Madonna University. I'm Chris Benson, and Ralph, we are so glad you're here joining us. Well, thank you very much. I'm happy to be here. Did you know I was going to call you a hero of mobility I today? didn't know I was going to be a hero today <laughs> when I woke up. That's a new one. <laughs> well, we're calling you that for okay, sure. Okay, thank you. Tell us about stair lifts of Michigan. Well, what we do is we go out to the home after we find out that somebody's having difficulty with their mobility getting up and down stairs safely okay. and uh, measure the stairwell talk to the people, find out what their needs are, um, and then we have a number of chairs that we can choose from. Uh, we choose the one that we feel is best for their needs, we explain it to them, um, do the measuring, like I say, to make sure it's all gonna be just right so we can make a, a safe and beautiful installation. And um, then we put it in and train them how to use it and follow up with any service that, uh, that they may need, and it just it changes their lives. It sounds like it. Yeah, yeah. And you make it sound so easy, too. You're like, it's this step, it's this step, it's this step, and boom, right? Yeah, well, it's, it's not, you know, once, once the decision is made um, <clears throat> and we have the unit in place, the installation is about a three-hour okay. process. So um, it's an important one, it's, and it's important that it's done correctly and well, and, uh, but it's not a, it's not a long, drawn-out affa uh, affair. Um, if you call us and we happen to have them in stock, we can, you know, we can get them in pretty quickly. And then the follow-up and the training is, is important. And what are some instances where people may need them? You know, we're, we're, we're jumping right to the stair lifts, but I'm thinking why, you know, I know in my parents' home they have them to make it mm -hmm. easier, you know, to get right. up and down stairs because they've got some mobility challenges. But what are some different reasons people might need them? Well, <clears throat> from the people that I talk to on a regular basis, um, knees, hips, backs, mm -hmm. age, um, car accidents, falls, mm -hmm. those types of things create a situation where getting up and down stairs is, is not what it used to be. Mm -hmm. um, the, we, I talked to a lot of people at the very beginning of the, of the process that are, you know, I can kind of get up there, but I, don't, I no longer feel safe mm -hmm. doing it, or I can't help my husband and feel safe mm -hmm. and that's you know that's a red flag uh, you know safety and getting up and down stairs a fall on the stairs is not good for anybody at any age and so those are some of the some of the things that we look for as far as a red flag going up like there's a need here and how did this business get started and how long have you been with it uh, really I had another business for quite some time and I sold it I uh, can't sit still very well and uh, so I started uh, stair lifts after doing quite a bit of homework I knew I wanted to be in this realm as far as uh, elderly which I'm proud to be a member of um, that they need help and they need guidance and some information and that kind of thing and I did my homework and came up with stair lifts and, and several other things that we do for them and um, so I started the company and here we are. And how long have you been in business now? Uh, just a couple of years I sold my other business about three years ago and this is just our, our second full year. And it sounds like you have a passion for um, helping people and, and that you wanted a business that would would assist. Yeah, it, you know, it's um, it's very meaningful uh, when you see somebody uh, able to get up to their bedroom, bathroom, uh, downstairs to their hobby room, to the laundry room, whatever, for the first time in quite some time. It um, it's it's it can be emotional, mm -hmm. and, uh, and it's important. It's just very important. They they love their home. They, I have tons of people. We've been in this home for 41 years. We love it. We don't want to move, mm -hmm. but. He or she or both of us can no longer do this, and uh, this is a you know this is a, an answer to that problem. Mm -hmm. And I understand you have um, stair lifts that go in the house, and also I think I looked at your website, and there's ones that could go outside. Too. Yes, they can. Yeah, they can be indoors or outdoors. Um, they have uh, you know the the outdoors. There's a cover for it and whatever, but they operate just fine. We have a, a number of people that off their deck. Quite often, getting there, getting down into their garage. If you open up the kitchen or the 
the garage door from the kitchen quite often, there's two or three steps. Well, to people with good mobility, not a problem. Uh, three steps is a mountain to people that have a hard time. And so indoors or outdoors is, is available. And I saw, I think you also have other products as well that can be useful as maybe as we age or maybe if we have different characteristics that we're working with. So what are some other things that you have? Yeah, primarily what another thing that we offer is what's called a bathroom cut. Um, everybody has a bathtub that they look at and are worried about even at any age, stepping over that bathtub mm -hmm. onto a slippery um, bathtub and that kind of thing. So what we're able to do is go in and, and basically cut out a portion of that bathtub mm -hmm put in an insert so now you only have to raise your foot six, seven, eight inches to get in and out. And it's a big, big step. I mean, a lot of people, that doesn't sound like much, mm -hmm. but to go that extra four or five inches, uh, or nine inches, I'm sorry, is very difficult. So that's something that is really, really helpful. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, we, we talk about it as we're aging, but I imagine anyone who has maybe a mobility challenge or is working with a physical characteristic could be helped by these products. It doesn't just mean because we're getting older. Oh, no, no, there's, uh, we, you know, we have customers um, and friends now that, uh, you know, they're, they, unfortunately, you know, teenagers, mm -hmm. uh, accidents, mm -hmm. uh, all kinds of issues can come into play. It's, you know, I think the industry is probably um, you know, a majority of which are, are the senior citizens, um, senior being 60 and above or something like that. But, you know, there's no doubt about it. There's a whole range of people that need assistance. And it sounds like um, you have been able to see them, as we mentioned, gain independence or regain independence right. and an ability to take care of themselves. Oh, yeah. And oh, that yeah. makes a big difference, oh, I imagine. A huge difference. A huge difference. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They, um, you know, a married couple, if one is helping the other, that's always a big help. Mm -hmm. um, but even then, at a certain point, you know, there comes a time when it's just not safe. Safety is really the backbone of what we have to do. Our, our goal is to give them access to their entire home mm -hmm. safely, and that's the important part. Well, I've enjoyed learning in this first segment. Okay. I have to take a break. Okay. We are going to be right back, and we'll talk more about um, stair lifts of Michigan. Stay tuned. But when my owner lost his job, it was rough. I was living on the street, and one night, me and this Cocker Spaniel got into it so bad, I wound up looking like an ice cream cone. I cried a little bit, but thankfully I got rescued, so I'm running, I'm jumping, all back to my old self. And I'm ready to give unconditional love, even if you put a lampshade on my head. I want to see the world. When you pick up a book. I used to read every night to all the younger kids. And let your imagination break free. You won't believe how much fun it can be. Let down your house. <laughs> Experience a world of adventure. <laughs> excitement. <laughs> and endless possibilities. Get tangled up in a good book. Explore new worlds. Read. Visit read.gov today. I want to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I need to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. Why can't I eat, eat, eat apples and bananas? Support the Feeding America nationwide network of food banks to help provide meals to those in need. Join us at feedingamerica.org. this hard, it's no wonder 7,000 students drop out every school day. Visit BoostUp.org and help kids in your community stay in school.
Welcome back to Celebrate Michigan. I'm Chris Benson and I'm here with Ralph Russell, owner of Stair Lifts of Michigan. And we're talking about the importance behind this wonderful invention and, and how helpful it is. Um, Ralph, in the last episode or last um, segment, we talked about um, you know the mechanics of it and, and installing it and those kind of things. Um, there's a cost and, and you know I'm wondering how that works and, and mm -hmm. can insurance cover it and how prohibitive is it? You know, if someone's watching and they're thinking, there's no way I could afford that. I don't know what it costs, but there's no way I could do it. Right. What What do you want them to know? The, uh, <clears throat> well, insurance, even the VA um, is very, well, insurance almost never. The mm -hmm. VA very, are very rare. Um, they, they um, this is uh, durable medical equipment, okay. which is a technical term and basically it means that they don't pay for that. Mm -hmm. So um, unfortunately that's the situation. So it falls to the, the couple, the family, the church, the somebody to, mm -hmm. uh, to, to come up with the funds. Okay. Um, they, uh, you know, the, the prices range all over the map, like, like in any in industry. Um, the, I don't know if, you know, throw out numbers or whatever, but you know, for $3,500 up, you can get a good, good um, stair lift mm -hmm. installed. And um, so, but you know, I, I do talk to a lot of people that are hoping that insurance or VA will come into play and that's just not the it case. It doesn't, yeah. yeah. And as far as um, across Michigan, do you serve all of Michigan through your business? Are yes, there sp do. specific areas that no, you? No, we we uh, we service all of Michigan. You know, the, the majority of the population obviously is in the Greater Detroit area. Mm -hmm. uh, like I say, I'm out of the Lansing area, East Lansing. Grand Rapids is the second second biggest city in the in the state. Uh, so that's where the bulk of it is. But we have customers in the UP. We have customers way up north and mm -hmm. that kind of thing. So. Um, you know, if you need a stair lift somewhere in the state of Michigan, you know, we can go there and help you. And I know you said it doesn't take long to install. There's like no. a, a let, let's check it out and yes. then we're in. Yeah, once we do the homework and get our, our facts straight and our measurements done, um, then to physically install it, you know, and do it properly, um, we don't cut any corners at all. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's it's about a three hour process. Okay. Yeah. And. Um, what if I have maintenance I need on it? Like, are they maintenance free? I, you know, I know it's yeah. funny, but you know, <laughs> these are questions, I wonder. Yeah, no, it's, uh, you know, they're not, nothing mechanical is maintenance free, okay. but stair lifts in general, the ones that I represent, mm -hmm. all the rest of them are very, very similar, to be yeah. quite honest. Um, and they've been, the, the industry's been around a lot longer than what most people think. Mm -hmm. So they have the bugs out of the Good. manufacturing process. <laughs> uh, the maintenance is really, really pretty low. Uh, the maintenance being is that all stair lifts are battery driven mm -hmm. and batteries are good from between, depends on use, between two and three years. Okay. So you swap those out. So maintenance on the batteries or replacement of the batteries, you know, physical things that go wrong. Um, I have a lot of customers that will call and say, can you come out and fix ours? You know, we've had it 13 years and it's never acted up before. Wow, that's a great so, life. So uh, they're, they're good, solid, safe pieces of yeah. equipment. And we're gonna show a couple pictures. If people haven't seen them before, we're gonna okay. take a look at those and see, and just describe some of the features on them. Oh, so okay. what, am I, what are some of the features on there? Well, the, the one that we're seeing there now is folded up, so it's, it's more out of the way. The, the, seat, the seat itself would fold down into the sitting position. Down below that, uh, but it'll fold down into a footrest, mm -hmm. and then the armrests fold down as well, and then you would ride it up. And then you can leave it as is mm -hmm. if you choose to, but if it's not in service or whatever and you want it out of the way a little bit for the grandkids to run up and down the stairs yeah, or have yeah. fun or whatever, there's still plenty of room even if it's fully open, but that just helps get it out of the way. Sure, and you know what I was surprised to find, there's even a seatbelt on them. Yes, they have seatbelts. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. yeah safety yeah. is, Safety is at the heart of what we do. This is looking from the top to the bottom, and uh, we have um, the that's the rail, which obviously is what the chair sits on and goes up and down. Okay. Uh, like I say, they're all battery operated, so um, they run on that rail, and mm -hmm. uh, that's that's what makes it that's what makes it safe and happy. Well, and I li <laughs> I appreciate that perspective too because it shows that they're not always like sitting out. You can still kind of walk by. Oh you know? yeah, yeah. So. Even when they are unfolded in the yeah. unfolded position. Um, you still have, we still leave 
you know, right around at least 20, if not more inches yeah. for somebody that doesn't need the chair, can go up and down the stairs without a problem whatsoever. And one misconception I had, my parents have a curved staircase or like a staircase and then a landing yes. and then a staircase. And so they said, well, I don't know that we can get one. And yeah, yeah, they got one. Yeah. So <laughs> just now, a little know, different setup. I don't know if they ended up with a curved stair lift that went all one yes. ride. Yes. Okay. So that's one option that you have is that you can do with a curve and you, you sit down in the chair and it takes you right from top to bottom all in one uh, uh, for sometimes financial reasons mm -hmm. that's um, a little bit more difficult uh, then what we do is that we take one stair lift down to the landing yep and then the the uh, participant literally stands up moves three inches six inches sits down in the second one and continues on down safely so that's that's quite a uh, we do that quite a bit. Well, and it's helpful. I mean, again, for any kind of home, it sounds like you've got a solution. It's oh, just, yeah, just yeah. figuring out oh, yeah. what. We can, we can get everybody up and downstairs. Now, for those watching, are you actually the person that comes out and installs? Do you have a team of people that do that? Uh, no, we, I have a, a gentleman in, in Rochester Hills that does all my work. Oh, excellent. Uh, great guy. Uh, he's a licensed builder, which I, I can't say this for a fact, but I'm pretty sure that I'm probably the only you know, company that has a licensed builder as an installer and he loves what he does and he does a fantastic job. Not only with the equipment and the installation, but with training the people, which is super important and communicating with them properly and, and whatever. I'll go out and, um, you know, do the measuring mm -hmm. and that kind of thing as well, but he does that as well. So again, we live on kind of opposite sides of the state. So it helps us cover the territory you a little bit. You got it better. covered then, yeah. huh? Yeah. Well, and I imagine that's important for people to feel comfortable because it's a piece of technology, like anything oh, else. Yeah. If you don't feel comfortable, you're not going to use it sure, properly. Sure, sure. No, no, so, 100%. Excellent. Well, it's time for another break. Can you believe it? Uh, here we go again. I know. Um, stay tuned. We'll be right back and we'll talk a little bit more with Ralph. Work. It was fourth period biology. Our students just weren't getting how easily viruses spread. So Miss Bell and I had them role play a zombie virus outbreak. By the time they had all learned the lesson, all the living were dead. Hey, how's your job going? That big sales meeting I planned? Next year, I might get to go. <clears throat> cool. Marie, you have prediabetes. Prediabetes? I don't have time to eat, write, or exercise. I'm a busy mom. Oh, you're a busy mom. Yeah. This is great news. Busy moms never get prediabetes. Wait, what? Let me just... Yeah, this is all the people at risk for prediabetes, and way over here, busy moms. No? I'll never forget the day our landlord called and said, read your lease, no pets allowed. My owner tells him my dog ate the lease, but that didn't work. And now I'm stuck in a shelter, but this pit bull is ready for a new crib. I'm loving, loyal, and play well with others. So don't be intimidated by all my muscles, cause the biggest one I have is my heart. <laughs> That's right, I said it. So, so we, we were, were walking, walking to school. I started thinking about lunch. Mom got me turkey and cheese. She's I smart. Really cheese pizza. Sometimes her mind wanders. We should have a sleepover. I remember saying, Laura? I think I heard Laura. mom say something. The sign says don't walk. Sometimes it's so overwhelming. I really hope she doesn't have really another bad day. I really hope we don't have another bad day at school today. When you can see learning and attention issues from their side, you can be on their side. Go to understood.org, a free online resource with support and tools to help your child thrive. Welcome back to Celebrate Michigan. I'm Chris Benson. We're back in the studio with Stair Lifts of Michigan owner, Ralph Russell. 
And there were a few things we didn't cover in the last segment, um, a couple of myths um, that mm -hmm. I want to dispel, let's okay. say. So I know um, when we were looking for this kind of equipment for my parents' house, I thought, oh, they're going to attach that to the wall. It's going to come out of the wall. And mm -hmm. I understand that's a myth. Yeah, that is. Well, it's not a myth because it, it the industry started out like that decades oh, ago. Okay. Um, but for as long as I know, uh, everything is drilled right into the steps, okay. which makes it you know extremely sturdy, mm -hmm. and it doesn't interfere with your walls whatsoever. And but there's a rail; it goes on the rail. Yeah, it goes on the, the rail. Goes you know there's brackets, then the rail goes onto the brackets, and then the chair goes onto the rail. But it's all based on the steps, which is one of the strongest parts of your whole building, and um, so that's that's. That is a myth. Okay, so that <laughs> myth is gone. And then the other one that I, I wonder if people might say, well, you know what, what's the weight limit on this? Are they really sturdy? <clears> like, <throat> could I could I get this? Right, yeah. The uh, the majority of the chairs on the market are, um, they hover between 325 pounds to 350 pounds. Okay. Uh, there are units that we put in quite often at commercial locations mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, that will hold up to 600 pounds. Mm -hmm. So obviously the chair is bigger sturdier, everything is just bigger and stronger and tougher. So, but for the average home, the three and a quarter to 350 mm -hmm. is the weight limit. Well, and I, I understand you just mentioned the commercial usage, and I think about that, you know, businesses who might want to give access to their clientele or the right. people that come, you know, churches or those kind of things, that would probably be very helpful to oh, yeah, have yeah, something yeah. like that and, for them. You know, almost mandatory in some respects. Yes, you know. yes. Yeah. Well. Tell us, I'd love to hear if there's a story. I'm sure you and um, the people in your business get to see inspiring things every day or, mm -hmm. or you know, the people that you serve, I'm sure tell you thank you, thank you, thank you. Right. Any stories that come to your mind that you could share with us? Yeah, well, you know, that's one of the things I enjoy the most about it is that once you see the end result and the change that it makes, I mean, in three hours, they have their life back. Mm -hmm. It's 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 very cool, <laughs> to put it bluntly, I guess. Yeah. Um, one story that I have is that I had a retired Navy general and uh, beautiful home and, you know, downstairs was his uh, hobby room and he built, he built these airplanes, model airplanes. Oh, wow. I mean, works of art and they're all remote controlled and hanging from the ceiling and he had his drawing board and he loved it. He had some problems with mobility and for about six months he couldn't get down there. Mm -hmm. And his wife was telling me, like, I can't tell you what this will mean to him. So we went there and we got it all installed and everything. And he's really a nice guy. And he was a big, you know, retired general. Yeah. And uh, we went down there and everything. He walked in his room and he, a tear came to his oh. eye. And I mean, he had it back. Yeah. You know, I mean, yeah. something, you know, it's right there. Right. It's right there. But, but I can't get there. A million and, miles uh, away when boy, you have challenges. But that three hours, he said, these three hours changed my life. Oh, that's for awesome. For the good, and that'll keep you coming back. Well, and again, those are the kind of things I think we are trying to get better as a society mm -hmm. in providing access to people. Because right. again, it could be an injury. Oh, yeah. It could be... Um, and a lot of times work related you know if oh, yeah. you if you have uh, repetitive motions in your job mm -hmm. you may not be elderly oh, and yeah. you may just need um, some safe transport right, right. So yeah oh yeah it's the need is out there for sure well awesome what you know again you're also a small business owner I know mm -hmm. this isn't your first one but uh -huh. in small we love small businesses in Michigan oh, celebrate yeah. Michigan yeah. is a yeah. Um, yeah. fan yeah. of that <laughs> and we like to uplift that uh -huh. what would you want small business owners to know about if they're they're watching and they're like, gosh, you know, I've thought about starting business X. Mm -hmm. What would you want them to know? Well, it's um, <clears throat> you know, you have to find something. If you're looking if you're looking at it just as a means of making money, then it's going to be a tough row. Mm -hmm. um, you have to find something that you passionate is a word that's used a lot. Um, maybe it's overused, you have to find some interest that you have that you want to dig into and stick with because there are going to be difficult times. Mm -hmm. um, when you're in a small business, um, you know, I've had them where I have employees and like every Friday they wanted to get paid. <laughs> Imagine that. Can that. Be a problem at times. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I mean, I'm not to be negative, but yeah. I mean, there's, there's, there's wonderful up, upbeats. Yes. And after that first five years and you got it going, everything gets a little nicer. Yeah. But you better be passionate about it and you better really want to accomplish that goal because it's 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 not an easy it's not an easy route, but it's mm -hmm. one that I've enjoyed all my life. So 
And I imagine it's not a nine to five. Oh, no. No, no, it's 24 seven, seven. Yeah. Yeah, and you know, for me it is. I'm either on or off and I'm mm -hmm. usually on. So and I just, uh, I like to stay busy. Where do you find um, support and inspiration to keep going in that? When you hit those hard parts, you know, mm -hmm. are there any places that, that you go to get support for that or that, that have helped you? Well, um, you know, I guess in my earlier days when I was much younger and started, you know, <laughs> this is going to sound funny, but my real ins uh, inspiration was paydays on Friday. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> You'll get up early and work real hard all day long to Absolutely. make sure you can pay your bills. And so your business can survive and thrive yeah because you've got to get over these humps every time every time every time and if you keep doing that pretty soon several years into it usually you realize that you've created something out of nothing and i find that very nice awesome yeah. where can people who are watching find you um what's the best way to reach you well <clears throat> we have a website stairliftsofmichigan.com it's okay. a plural lifts stairliftsofmichigan.com mm -hmm. Uh, the phone number is 517-202-3254, and um, that phone is on my hip 24-7. And um, I think a lot of times people are hesitant to call because they're going to get a salesman and mm -hmm. that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And I, I turn it around. Our website has pricing on it. We're the only stair lift company in the state of Michigan, or anywhere from what I know, that actually posts our price. Right up front. Everybody else wants to send a salesman out to the house, mm -hmm. uh, just a different road uh, road uh, map, you know. Yeah. So uh, that's how they can contact us, and I can answer their questions, and no pressure. Ralph, thank you. It's been wonderful having you with us today. All right. I'm so well, glad you, you've sir. been here. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you. And that's all the time we have today. We're so glad Ralph could join us, and um, we are so glad you could join us as well. And we love our viewers. We're so glad you help us celebrate small businesses and all the other things that happen in Michigan. This is a great state, isn't it? We love the Mitten State. See you next time.